Welcome to this Gossiger instructional video. This video will address the process of calibrating a tool probe on an Akuma single turret CNC lathe equipped with an OSP P200L control. During this video we will explain how to set tool length offset values for a master tool used in tool probe calibration along with the steps necessary to calibrate a tool probe. And finally, how to touch off other tools in the turret to obtain the correct tool length offset. Different procedures can be employed to achieve the same outcome, but we believe the methods used in this video are the most straightforward and easy to understand. We will reference the technical documentation supplied with the machine at different points in the video. Similar information was supplied with your machine on a CD. You should locate this information in advance and have it ready for reference when you attempt these procedures. The next slide illustrates the main contents of the documentation supplied with your machine. You will need Adobe Acrobat Reader in order to access this data. If your computer does not have Acrobat installed, it can be downloaded from the internet and installed on your computer. Double clicking on the start PDF icon will launch Acrobat Reader and display the contents of the CD. Clicking on the title of the manual will launch that document for review. You can expand the sections of the manual to show individual topics in the reading pane. In this first example we've clicked on Safe Operations Manual. We've expanded the Safety Precautions section and displayed the contents of this section dealing with symbols. Before we get started, it's extremely important that you comply with all safety procedures outlined in the machine documentation and warning tags located on the machine. Always follow your company's safety policies at all times and be sure to wear safety glasses when operating the machine. Always make sure machine guarding is in place and closed before attempting any machine movement. Additional information about the procedures shown in this video can be found in the Gauging Systems Instruction Manual. Alright, let's get started with the actual procedures. The first thing we've done is chuck on a piece of bar stock and manually face it off in the x-axis, taking care not to move the tool in Z after the process. Set the machine zero point, not the tool offset. Navigate to the zero point screen, place the cursor on the zero offset field, press the CAL soft key, enter the value in zero, and then press the right key. Now with the master tool, we will manually turn a reference diameter, being careful not to move the tool in X when the cut is complete. Stop the spindle, measure the turn diameter, and record the value. Navigate to the Tool Offset page, place the cursor on the x-axis Master Tool field, press the Cal Soft key, key in the measured diameter amount, and press the right key. This calculates the correct x-axis tool offset for our master tool. Swing down the manual touch setter arm. The screen automatically changes to the Tool Offset page. Transition to the touch setter sensor position screen by pressing the parameter mode push button. Manually move the master tool off the right side of the touch setter probe cube. Press the left arrow key to start the calibration process in the Z axis. After completion, manually reposition the master tool over the top of the sensor cube and then press the down arrow key completing the calibration in the X axis. Let's review the sequences we've performed so far. We've identified the master tool as an OD turning tool, and we noted that it contains a Z-axis tool length offset value of zero. We set the Z program zero point using the master tool, and then we turned a reference OD using that tool. We then calculated the x-axis tool offset for the master tool and finally calibrated the top and right side of the tool setter probe cube. In our final steps, we will set the Z tool length offset for the back turning tool and calibrate the left side of the tool setter cube. And finally, 
we'll detail how to set the x-axis tool offset for on-center tools such as drills and reamers. We index to a back turning tool and manually position the tool tip behind the outboard edge of the part. A 1-2-3 block is held against the part and the tool is brought into contact with the block by slowly moving the tool in a Z plus direction with the hand wheel. The operator can detect when the back turning tool insert is aligned with the face of the part. With the tool in this position, the screen is transitioned to the tool offset page and the Z-axis tool offset field is selected for this tool. The operator presses the CAL soft key, enters a value of zero, and then presses the right key, calculating the Z-tool offset for the back turning tool. The tool setter is then swung into position and the back turning tool moved close to the left side of the touch setter probe cube. The screen is transitioned to the touch setter sensor position screen and the right arrow key pressed, starting the calibration process on sensor position 4. This next video shows how an ID station for an on-center tool is trammed into position by mounting a dial indicator and magnetic base on the face of the chuck and then slowly rotated by hand. The cross light is moved in the X direction until there is no deviation observed on the indicator. With the slide in this position, the tool offset page is displayed. The cursor is placed on the X axis field for the active ID station. The CAL soft key pressed, a value of zero entered, and then the right key is pressed calculating the correct offset amount. This concludes our video on touch setter calibration and tool offset setting. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please email Rob Root at the email address shown. A special thanks to the Gossiger Dayton staff and Dave Hoffer for his assistance in the production of this video.